I had another band called Temple of the Black Moon with Rob Caggiano, who was in Anthrax, but he's now in Volbeat. And King of Hell from Gorgoroth, Ice Dale, and John Tempesta. Which is, we've signed a deal. We've written all the songs, but we can't get each, we can't get us together enough in one place to finish the album. Um, so while that was happening, I was approached by some local friends um, and Devilment just grew from that, just from an idea. Because Cradle of Filth actually are, are, are based all around the entire world. We have two people from the Czech Republic, someone lives in Scotland, two people live in England, and our keyboardist Lindsay is from Canada. Devilman are, are like a, sometimes a breath of fresh air because we live, you know, within a stone's throw of each other. And sometimes I indeed throw stones at them. But yeah, it's a more localised thing. Um, and originally it was just a project between friends that just grew. Um, Scott Atkins got involved, who's producing a new Cradle album as well. And uh, we went into the studio and things just grew. And there we are, really. I'm really enjoying it. It's like, a, like I say, it's a, a breath of fresh air. Well, I wouldn't have said it's, um, it's pretty standard fare, you know, there's we're six musicians, two guitarists, bass, drums, vocals, female vocals, keyboards. I think it's just got a very distinctive sound. It's very, whereas Cradle's very ornate, fast, um, you know, lots of orchestral elements going on. Delbman's very sort of driven, very sort of laid back, rock and rolly, but dark has elements about it that are, are horror based, but they've got more to do with sort of Road Dull and Sylvia Plath, they're, they're kind of twisted. It's catchier as well, it's like, um, I don't know, it's hard to put, describe, you're trying to sell your music to different people. The main thing I would say would be to go and check out the album, uh, check out the video for Even Your Blood Group Rejects Me on YouTube, and then buy the album obviously. That's the whole point, buy the album. We did a full tour with Lacuna Coil, we shared a tour bus with them, um, Motionless in White, and it was a really successful, fun tour. So that kind of threw Devilman straight in at the deep end, really. And so the reaction's been really strong because of that, because we've got to play in front of a lot of people. Obviously, my involvement's brought Cradle fans to the table. So there's a little bit of cross pollinization you know, like pregnant bees along the way. And... Um, I think it's done, it's done a lot of good for Devilman. It's done a lot of good for me because it's like an escape valve, you know, sort of a pressure thing where, for example, at the moment, I've, I've been three months in the studio with Cradle of Filth and I'm just dying to get away. I love Cradle of Filth, obviously, with all my heart, but um, it's nice to, to, it's like a breath of fresh air to get out, do something a little bit different uh, within the metal genre. Cradle of Filth, uh, like I say, are currently finishing up um, their new album entitled Hammer of the Witches, coming out June the 26th via Nuclear Blast. And it's a killer record. It's going to surprise a lot of people. It's really, it's brutal, it's melodic, it's really atmospheric. It's like Iron Maiden on crack. It's, it's really, it's a strong record. It's going to be our strongest record for at least a decade. I'm really looking forward to people hearing it. And, you know, Devilman, going back to that, it, that breath of fresh air has invigorated, I guess, me with Cradle as well. Don't be 